All praises to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shah. Let's go and get into it. Baraka Thai Hawa, Baraka Thai Hawa Shah, Baraka Thai Hawa, Baraka Thai Hawa Shah, Baraka Thai Hawa, Baraka Thai Hawa Shah, Bahashem, Rakwa Kadash. I like to give double honors to the apostles and the elders of GMS. I believe those are the men who are sent forth during this time to wake us up. I like to give a shout out and salute to the brothers across the four corners of the earth trying to preach this truth and sell the elect. I believe the report. Okay? Let's go and get into it. Now, this is a crazy story. Okay? But as, as, as simple as this story is. This shows you the time and the craziness that we are living in, okay? Now watch this, and then we're going to filter through the scriptures because it seems like it's simple, but this is, the, hey, this is the seriousness of what's, what we're dealing with right now, okay? This farmer, let's see if I can get it to play. This farmer, he's trying to farm, and he got these woke protesters out there trying to stop him from farming okay now i did a report on how a lot of people who own land their own private land they got oil fields on their land they ran up on this farmer land okay so this fertilizer machine you know he spray hot shit balls on them and they deserve it okay but this is the confusion of this place okay the confusion, the madness, it's like this woke culture, they have woke up to their destruction, okay? So yeah, I'm gonna go and play it. Cause he can't do anything. I would have sprayed it on him too, okay? They on his land. Remember, like I said, on this border, a lot of people end up missing on these uh, private acres. I mean, these people got hundreds and thousands of acres, okay? But hey, the most high is ready to bring it all down, okay? So yeah, let me go on um try to see if I can get it play. Get it to play. Hey, they deserve it. See, he backed that thing up on him, and they deserved it. Okay, we're gonna run that back again. You see, they deserved it. Now they're trying to stop him. See, they trespassing, and they don't give a damn. Okay, and these woke people, when they run out of food, as you saying, all the reports, all the places running out of food. Here, there's this man trying to um grow food and you on this land trying to stop them i don't know if they plants i don't know who they is when they run out of food they're gonna eat each other okay these are them people okay we're gonna play that one more time see and they put just letting it be sprayed on see and they don't care look at that they still on this land they not moving or anything. They just taking it. You see that? So, hey. We're going to go and get into it. Yeah, and then he drives off just leaving them smelly. You see that? This in the Midwest somewhere. See, they don't care on his land. Okay, now imagine if that was a bunch of jakes. They would have shot him. They would have uh, fired on them jakes. See, he get ready to pass around again. See? Now they running off. See that? They scurrying. See?
there, see they running. Yeah, they trying to run off, you see? So yeah, let's go and get a description. I'm gonna get into what this is about. Cause on the surface, when you look at this, you see a farmer spraying um, animal boo on these people. But there's a little more to it than this, okay? Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 8. We are troubled on every side, yet not distressed. We are perplexed, but not in despair. Yeah, these people, they get ready to be perplexed. Their stomachs are get ready to be touching their rib cage, their backs, okay? And the Most High is going to do this, okay? They're going to be in despair, trouble, perplex okay as you can see they already confused okay they on this man private land okay it's just like if you go buy you some acres for food right and here it is they confused and that that woke madness okay but this is the city of confusion being broken down okay we're gonna be good when all this um all this uh, SHIT uh, situation happened, hit the fan, we're going to be good, okay? These people, hey, they're going to line up for that uh, karagma. They're going to line up, okay, and take that, all right? Let's keep going. Okay, 2 Corinthians chapter 4, verse 9. Persecuted, but not forsaken. Cast down, but not destroyed. See? We're not going to be, hey, we're not going to be destroyed, okay? We know that we're going to be changed, okay? We're not of this world, okay? This is not our rest, none of this. Yeah, you see? These people, hey, like I said, they're going to be, hey, they're going to be broken down and eventually destroyed, okay? All in confusion, all right? Now, let's keep going. Now, you think this is about this fool situation? No, we're gonna get to what this is really about. Cause this hey, this this is a two-part situation that a lot of people really don't know about, okay? Now watch this. Okay, well, that didn't go according to plan. When a group of protesters showed up on a farmer's land trespassing to have their voice heard against fracking that was going to take place on this property. Now remember, there is over I, I think what um at least 80,000 wells in the United States. Like I said, a lot of this is on private property. You could go buy you some land. You find some oil on it. They, they pay you money to get it out. He obviously found oil on this land. Now they're trying to stop him. And everything is falling apart. So don't be surprised by August. You have $7, $8 gas. Regular gas. Okay? Now let's keep going against fracking that was going to take place on his property, he decided to take matters into his own hand to remove the group. And hey, the Most High is mainly the one uh, doing this, okay? Let's keep going. These types of protests don't always go according to plan, as you'll see. Another example of this can be seen when a group of vegans locked themselves to duck farm machinery, resulting in one dude almost losing his head. See? The Most High, hey, he almost allowed somebody here to get flown off, right? blocking these people's stuff. If you a Jake, don't get involved with this. Stay on the sideline, get your popcorn, okay, get your scriptures, okay, and get your glass of wine, right? And sit there, okay, and continue to chant this place down, right? As brothers say, let go, right? Let go, okay? Because these people that's doing all this, once they once they um go to the store, okay, and they can't get you know, no more that dig em smack cereal, okay? They can't get no more that uh, Cap'n Crunch, okay? Because of the grains and stuff you need, okay? They can't get more that, no more that um, flavored ice, okay? They can't get no more that, um, that hog mog, that pig feet. They gonna eat each other, okay? Let's keep going. In this case, the farmer does his best, Dale Jr., circling the group with precision and spraying them with manure. See that? Sprayed boo on them. 
And you know, these, these machines, they keep the boo warm. Okay? So they probably smell like hot pigs. Hot pig feet. Okay? Hot chitlins. Okay? Great technique here. Gives them nowhere to go. Boxes them in. And ru ruins some clothes and shoes. And everybody is covered in crap. Just like you draw it up. Okay? So they say check out the, uh, the SHIT storm. Right? And I showed you that. But that's not even the worst part about this. What a lot of people don't know. Okay? About oil. We we gonna we gonna look up a barrel of oil right quick, okay? Cause they kind of need to do this so the gas price can go down. But we know the Most High, He's gonna make everything just keep going out of control, okay? And these people they ain't got a clue, okay? Now watch this. Isaiah twenty four verse ten: The city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. You see everything shut now. These high gas prices, plants shutting down. Okay, there's a crime for wine in the streets and all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. Okay? Now I'm going to show you something. And the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction. Now here goes something a lot of people don't know about oil. Everybody think oil is just used for uh, transportation, for gas. Okay, this is products made from a barrel of oil. Okay? You got diesel, other distilleries, jet fuel, other products, heavy fuel. Now, see where the orange part would say other products? That's like the center, right? Heavy fuel, okay, re residual, liquid petroleum gases, and gasoline. Okay, now diesel and gasoline is mainly what they use on the road. So people think that this green part and this bottom part, okay, which is about half the, um, okay, is 29%, okay? Now, like the other 60% of a barrel of oil is used for other things. Okay? Now, now let's see what things it is. I'm not going to show you all of them, but watch this. Ooh, that's the spirit. This is from GMS Awakening 144. The end. Pressure from above, pressure from below. Now, I'm sitting here doing a video on what's in a barrel of oil. And this pops up from his feed. And it says 144 to end. It says a partial list of products made from petroleum. 144 of 6,000 items. See, that's the spur because I'm showing you the pressure from above and the pressure from below from just a single barrel of oil. You got over 6,000 everyday products made from petroleum. Okay? Look at this. You got the motor oil, speakers, plastic wood, electric blankets. Tennis rackets, rubber, cement, fishing boots, nylon. It's just so much stuff. It's like a huge, a huge list. Rubber, cement, candles, hand lotion, roller skates, trash bags, water pipes. You need all this. You it's pretty much the blood of the earth. Okay, it's used for so much different stuff. Didn't no pterodactyl fly down, die, and turn into diesel number two. Okay, didn't Dino the dinosaur. Okay, from Fred Flintstone, didn't turn into a uh, match lighter fluid. Okay, that's a damn lie. Okay, so yeah, so much stuff that all is used for that you have you have to have it. Even all this green technology that they they're talking about, you need oil to make the green technology. Okay, yeah, you see that. But yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family. Hey, with this old situation, th this is an end of days uh, situation. We know the most high closing uh, closing down Babylon anyway. So let me go and get a scripture and close out. But hey, th this old situation, then this diesel uh, shortage in the next few weeks. Hey, we in these last seconds, man. I don't know how it's going to go. All I know is that we need to stay prayed up. Let me go and get a scripture. But I want to get this out to you guys because, hey. Start prepping. Prep your mind for what you get ready to start seeing. You get ready to start seeing some, some wild things out here. Okay? You see this Roe v. Wade, this, this Night of Rage. Okay, Jane's Revenge, all this madness. Hey, all that's going to come down. These people, they're going to be mad at each other. They're going to they, they gonna turn on each other and eat each other. Okay? Then they get they got hit with that dragon, that dragon sauce, that bastard juice. Hey. It's, it's get ready to go down. 
This is Ezekiel 7 verse 3. Now is the end come upon thee, and I will send my anger upon thee, and I will judge thee according to thy ways, and will recompense upon thee all thine abominations. And my eyes shall not spare thee, neither will I have pity, but I will recompense thy ways upon thee, and thine abomination shall be in the midst of thee, and ye shall know that I am the Lord. Thus says the Lord Yahweh, and evil, and only evil, behold, is come. And the end is come, the end is come. It watch it for thee, behold, it is come. The morning has come unto thee, O that dwellers in the land. The time has come, the day of trouble is near, and not the sounding again of the mountains. Okay? Hey, once you have all this, um, these oil shortages and all these shutdowns and everything running out, okay? You ain't gonna hear nothing no more. You're gonna hear is a bunch of madness, okay? People fighting and destroying each other, okay? People wailing and hollering because they don't have anything, okay? So yeah, I just wanted to get this out to the family, okay? You don't have no oil. Babylon ain't gonna have no oil. Babylon ain't gonna have no food. You see that? Like the brother say, pressure from above, pressure from below. So yeah, I just wanted to get that out to the family. Hopefully you're satisfied. I'll see you again real soon. Shalom.